Hey everybody, um, I'm here today. I am sorting out tomatoes. These tomatoes I picked uh, a couple weeks ago, but I'm now trying to sort through them, make sure that I don't have any rotten ones in there. And I have found some, uh, but I really am just uh, going through them so that I can save as much as possible. And then I'm washing them. And that's something that I never got around to doing last time was go through and wash uh, all of the tomatoes, I only washed the ones that were ripe in that moment. And so now today I'm actually going through and I'm washing all of them because something like this, if you have that stem on there, it actually causes the tomatoes to rot a lot quicker. So that's what I'm going through and like, see that gross, it makes it stink. I think it was actually my first video that I was out in the garden and I was picking um, the tomatoes. That was exactly when um, I was going, I was picking these tomatoes. And so now I'm just going to go and sort through them. Um, but as I'm doing that, I am just thinking through life and thinking about ways that I can inspire people, the ways that I can do my job well. And, um, and so I've been thinking about how can I uh, make the most out of my time? And so as you can see, I am making the most of my time because I'm talking to you and I'm doing some work all at the same time. So that is making the most of my time right now. But I've also been listening to an audiobook and I've been, I've been reading at the same time. Now I'm gonna give you one tip. It's actually not good to always have something going on in your mind at all times. It is good to have some quiet time. It is very good to just sit quietly and work and think about what is at the front of your mind. Um, but today I just wanted to get inspired. I wanted to re read a book. And so I have the audiobook going while I'm working and processing on this. And I just took a break from reading and now I'm uh, talking to you guys. So I hope that uh, today's video is going to be a good video for you guys. You'll learn a little bit, maybe be inspired. I don't know what will happen, but I just hope that as we spend this time together, that it will just be another step uh, forward into living your best life and doing uh, the most that you can with the time that you have. job is done so this is like a six gallon pail um, and um, it's about three quarters full so we have about five gallons of green tomatoes left and then these would be the ones that are most ripe and so I put them on their own these are starting to ripen and then we have uh, right here we have the discard and it's not actually a lot I'm pretty impressed Next step would be to get uh, the ones that are ripe chopped up and I'm just going to put the green ones um, away uh, just somewhere out of the way so that they can just continue ripening and then this is something I'm just going to keep doing every single week until I am done cleaning up my tomatoes. So next step, what is my next step? I think it's time to go pick. Seriously, you cannot be fussy when you have free help. She took this and put mud all over my peppers. What is she thinking? Thanks, mom. <laughs> I just heard that we might possibly get snow tonight. I'm not ready for that. Um, so I'm here picking and that's the bad news I got while I was here picking. I'm picking um, all the peppers. I told you this is where we were going today. There's mom, she's here today once again. Hi mom. Hi. 
and uh, I've had some people stop by to pick up items and uh, mom's just kept picking and it's almost been an hour that I've just had people showing up and <laughs> she's just kept picking. I feel terrible, um, but she's just been good to me and she just continues picking. Um, so yeah, so what we're doing right now is we're grabbing all the peppers and uh, they're all different sizes. Some of them are quite small, but some of them are nice and large. So something like this, that's great. I'm happy with that. Um, I was actually quite worried and I talked to you guys about it last time as I was taking you on a tour that the tops of the pepper plants were already uh, frozen, but the bottoms of the plants weren't. And so because we didn't have that kind of damage, I wanted to keep the vegetables on there as long as possible so that we wouldn't, or that maybe they, they would have a chance to grow for as long as possible. Um, oh, look, we have to go. Mama's showing us something. Look at that. That is a ton of peppers. That looks great. <laughs> Too bad they didn't get to full size, but it looks awesome. Um, it's a good, that's actually a really good example of what this summer has been like. These, these plants themselves have just produced so many peppers. So going back to what I was saying earlier was that I was trying to keep these plants going for just a little bit longer. And I think that it did have its benefits um, that we did get a little bit more growth um, on uh, the plants and so I can't I can't really complain too much these are small these are those candy cane uh, candy cane peppers but they're quite small oh well we'll just pick we'll just pick and see what happens and then apparently we'll get snow tonight we have one six gallon pail full. We have another six gallon pail full. And then we have a massive bowl like that. That will probably come out to like 10 pounds. And this will be about 10 pounds of peppers. So if I do my math correctly, I've been picking a lot in the last uh, year. <laughs> So or I guess the last summer. And so I would estimate that that would probably be close to 80 pounds worth of peppers. Um, that does not include all the peppers that we picked in the last two months. That's amazing. I'm thankful that the snow didn't snow on it and now they're out of the garden. So these peppers are going inside to be washed and processed. We will be donating them to um, a community program and uh, then we are going to pick, ooh, it's bright. We are going to pick, what are we picking? Oh, my peppers, which would be the jalapenos and the bell peppers. And then I am gonna be picking all the tomatoes off of the Elizabeth Roma plant. I didn't know what I had planted. I think these are leeks, <laughs> or at least I'm going to say they're leeks. With the coming snowfall warning, um, I have to try and clean up all of these tomatoes now for the community. Sheldon is already at it. We have to get these into shelter.
tomatoes are done and they are put into the garage. And that's all we have left after going through all the ripe ones and those that went bad. And now it's time to go find some supper. It seems like it just never ends. Welcome to fall. Uh, or winter, remember? It's supposed to snow. We'll see if that happens. Okay, so I came inside and I got motivated all over again. And I have my niece here, Victoria. Hi. Um, so Victoria and I, we have an issue where we just need to be creative all the time. There's sunshine right there. We need to be creative all the time. So in spring we were making soap and um, we had one bar that just fell completely apart. So what we did was we ended up uh, going ahead and crumbling it up uh, because we learned that we can make some liquid soap out of this. So wish us luck. That's what we're gonna try and do now. Okay. Right. Wow, it's like sticky stuff. Is it gonna work? Are we supposed to let it boil? No. I don't think so. Okay, I turned it down. <laughs> well, hi! Well, hi! I have like white on my lips. Okay, well, we want to see that. Let's be entertained by Ezra while we wait. Say hi, YouTube! You don't have white on your lips. I did, but then I ate. <laughs> so you so ate, you ate, you the, ate the paint? I, yeah, I ate the paint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back and let's look at this. Let's see what's happening. It's very anticlimactic. <laughs> it kinda is. It smells good. I did turn it way down though. I'm hoping that that's actually a but good thing. I don't think we're supposed to bring it to a boil. I think we just wait till it dissolves. That's what it said. Oh my goodness. I don't think that's enough soap. We could add more. It's just gonna be super thick. Yeah. Oh no, they did say it was gonna look like soapy water. They did say that. Yes. And, uh, and then you have to let it set. So if you look at that, to me that looks completely wrong. But <laughs> it did say that it was only gonna look like soapy water. And then you're supposed to let it sit for like 12 to 24 hours. And then from there, then it's going to look more like soap. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit and we're gonna have to wait, but I think you're waiting longer than we are to see if this is actually gonna work out. This might be very anticlimactic. Is that okay? They might only get to see soapy water and not <laughs> soap. Next time we're just gonna be washing dishes and you can see my dirty soapy water. Why not? <laughs> News flash. So wait, look at that, it's sparkly. You have to mix a little, it's too foamy. Oh, now it's really foamy. <laughs> Over there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's really sparkly. So the reason why it would be sparkly is because Victoria and I had, uh, we put color into the soap and it was a shimmery mm -hmm. color. But in the bar, you like on the bar, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it on the bar, you can't. I can show you right here. Like if you take a look at it, it doesn't look sparky, spark, sparky, no, sparkly, right. or shimmery at all. Uh, let's see if I can get a green piece. Yeah, there is no sparkle in there at all, but it's really coming out now that it's becoming liquid. Pretty cool. According to the instructions that we got, this is it. Wow. <laughs> so that's all we have for you guys with the soap. We will let you see what it looks like tomorrow. Hopefully it looks better than that. And that's what we have and look at it. It's all sparkly. Definitely looking forward to what it's gonna look like tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to show you the soap that we were working on yesterday. Um, so here it is. Um, it is the perfect consistency and uh, it looks great. 
there's a little bit of a shimmer to it, but I don't think that you're really gonna see it. And it's gonna be in a pump bottle, so you're not gonna see it at all. Um, but it just has a wonderful smell. Uh, the smell came out really well. It just smells like a, um, it's like a hint of tea, but um, it's a really, really clean smell. Very, very happy with how it turned out. And uh, so, yeah. So I wanna thank you for joining us today and, uh, and yesterday. And I hope that you can join us next time on our next video.